When we look at different approaches to public policy, we can usually narrow it down to two philosophical differences. Those who are a fundamentalist and don't really care all that much about the evidence because they know what's right and what's wrong. And those who are pragmatists, in other words, who try to get a policy that's going to meet the needs of the people at a particular point in time. And I think harm reduction's in the latter category. It doesn't ask of people, you have to give up drugs. In fact, it assumes that individual people, for all sorts of reasons, may use drugs. But what we need to do is to minimise the harm that may be associated with that, to reduce the harm that may be associated with that. So we're realists. We say, yes, human beings do uh, take drugs. We've seen it all through human history. The reasons they do it are many and varied. But let's make sure that when they do it, we reduce the harms that may come to them as individuals and may come to the broader society as a result of their habits.